Aloha! Today, I want to talk about jobs in Hawaii. I know, I know, it's not coconut martinis on the beach or going on epic hikes with a GoPro, but jobs are really important. I remember when I was trying to move back to Hawaii, it was pretty hard to find jobs and I didn't really know where to look or what were some really good jobs. So I want to talk about the best jobs, which means different things to different people. And because of that, I'm not just going to provide my personal opinion, but I'm actually going to put together what the studies say, what the local people may say, and also at the end, my own personal opinion. So first, what do the studies say? Well, I pulled up the top 20 occupations that was published in September 2018 by the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. And basically, they looked at the past 15 years, sort of, from 2001 to 2016, and just sort of some of the job trends. Now, a lot has definitely changed in that time, and so the trends may not necessarily apply to today, but I think a big takeaway from that report is just some of the up and coming job industries as well as some of the jobs that maybe aren't so strong. So here are a few highlights. The largest number of workers are retail sale workers, food and beverage serving workers, and then construction and trade workers. The fastest growing jobs are in healthcare like nurses and home health aides and construction. The highest paying jobs for 2017 were health diagnosing and treating practitioners or basically doctors, top executives and lawyers and judges. Males dominated the construction industry while females dominated the administrative assistant industry. And what about STEM jobs? Well, in 2016, just 4.1% of the total jobs in Hawaii were STEM related with civil engineers leading the way in that industry. So what does all that data mean? And of course, it really depends on how you view the data and you interpret it. You might think that finding a job in some of the more popular industries like retail or food service might be really easy and that would be the way to go. But then you have to think about the pay and those jobs don't really pay that well. But what about the fastest growing jobs, like the best industries in Hawaii? Well, that's really good and it might present some job security in the future, but then you have to consider whether that job is about to hit a bubble or has it popped already or is that trend gonna continue in the future? But of course you might want the highest paying jobs. Maybe, but then you have to ask yourself, well, do I have the qualifications to be a doctor, a top executive, or a lawyer, or a judge? So I think it really depends on what you value more and also what skills you bring. But that's just the statistics. It's a little impersonal. What do local people think? So I spoke to a wide variety of local people here and I asked them what they thought the best jobs were in the state. These jobs don't just mean the highest paying jobs or the most popular jobs. Jobs, but I did notice that the best jobs tended to earn a lot of money or they provided a lot of benefits outside of the workplace. So some of these jobs include working for Hawaiian Airlines because you can fly for free or cheap, which helps to reduce travel expenses. You could work federal or state jobs because of the cost of living allowance and also the benefits and the extra holidays. There's also private school or the University of Hawaii faculty or administration positions because the pay is pretty good and there are a lot of good benefits. A specialist doctor because of the pay, the healthcare industry because of future job needs, electrician because of the pay, construction jobs like engineers and architects because of the development coming with the rail project, real estate agent, especially in the short term because housing prices are so high and people need housing. Pet groomers because Hawaii has a lot of pet owners and hotel bartender because the pay is pretty good, it's very flexible, and the benefits are pretty great. As you can see, there is some overlap from the report to what local people have to say, but I really think that it's important to hear what everyday normal people think about jobs and which jobs are good and, and, and maybe which jobs aren't so good because these are the people that are living in Hawaii day to day and I think that they offer a valuable perspective. So lastly, what is my personal opinion on the best jobs in Hawaii? Well, I got three. So other than doctor or lawyer, which is really just because of the salary, I think the best three jobs in Hawaii are a longshoreman or a dock worker, a elevator repair person or escalator repair person, and any person who has skills in the trades that can then translate to maybe a federal job. So in my opinion, being a dock worker is very powerful in Hawaii because we basically ship everything here. And so because you're in that position, 
you have a lot of leverage, I think, when it comes to pay. I think the union is very strong, but it is very difficult to get into that business. It's one of those, you kind of have to know people to get the job, but if you're in, you're definitely in. And I think more importantly, and this is sort of a benefit on top of the pretty good pay, is that once you're in, you kind of provide a legacy for your future family, your future kids, because you know, you sort of grew up in that type of occupation and it's kind of easy to pass along. The second one is elevator repair person. And this was a job that I never heard of in high school. I don't know why no one ever talked about this job, but I know the job pays really, really well. And it's one of those jobs where you think about it and you're like, oh yeah, a lot of elevators kind of need fixing. I know in, in, in my building, the elevator breaks at least twice a month and so it has to be consistently repaired. There's a lot of elevators here in Hawaii that do need repair. And I think that's a very, very strong job. It's a very hands-on job and a job that definitely goes under the radar of a lot of people. And the third type of job is any type of trade job like plumbing, pipe fitting, carpentry. Those types of jobs I think are very valuable in Hawaii. There's a lot of construction in Hawaii and a lot of old buildings and a lot of old homes are gonna need fixing or renovation. But I really think if a person could get a trade job that could then translate into a federal job like at Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard where you could work on ships and submarines, I think that is really great. I don't have any experience in the trades, but I did work at Pearl Harbor one summer, so I'm familiar with at least the schedule as it was back then. And they start work very early, but they also end work very early, and I think that's a really good benefit. It means that you'll be able to skip all the traffic and you might have afternoons off to go surf or do whatever you want. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Thanks for watching and aloha.